Let me clear my throat. Hello, 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 y'all. My voice sounds better than uh, the last time that we talked. I think I'm finally getting over my man cold. I'm literally driving in direct sunlight. Sorry. And my little, I don't know what happened. My little holder that I have for you is becoming more and more, sorry, people are passing me in the slow lane. Anyway, good morning. It is uh, Thursday. I had to think about it for a second. And I am heading to Johnson City, which is one city down from me, up from me. I'm not really sure. West of me. And it's only about 20 minutes away. And I'm going to meet my dear, darling, angel baby, Emily Jones. Um, I've known Emily forever. She used to come to my classes at the Y. And then um, she worked at Premier Homes and Properties, where I now work. And she has since gone to another real estate agency. But we are forever friends. And so today... We are going to go get brunch at this place called First Watch, which is absolutely delicious. The sun has kind of calmed down now at this point. And I'm just excited. I'm in a good mood. I got up this morning. It was 37 degrees, and I did my five-mile run. Um, I had to wear a long-sleeve shirt, a vest. Of course, I wore my shorts. And uh, I had to wear a wrap over my head and ears. It was fantastic. You know, y'all know that th those are the days that I dream about. So I am happy as a little clam. I'm just in a fantastic mood today. So we're going to go to brunch. I'll, I'll try to do a video there. And then I have got to go to the Dollar Tree because tonight, and I can go ahead and talk about this because by the time I post it, it's going to be over. I am attending a surprise party for my friend Kayla. It's her 30th birthday. And she was, she came to New York City with me when I went this past time, the second time. And she's just an angel. Um, I've known them forever. And they actually were my first people who uh, sold their current house and helped them buy another house. So I just absolutely love them. They're precious, precious, precious angels. And tonight's her surprise birthday party. So I have part of her present and I'll show you what I've gotten her. And then I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree to get her a card and some candy and a bag. To complete it, honey. To complete the gift and to complete the look. So, I'm just in a really good mood today. It is fall. It is 100% fall in East Tennessee. <clears throat> it's to the point now where when I look on my 10-day forecast, it's all 50s and 60s and 30s in the morning. And I, I'm just loving life. I'm just loving life. I'm in my brand new super soft Cumberland Marketing sweatshirt. My very bestest friend in the whole world, Stephanie Myers. She works at Cumberland Marketing and she got me one of these. And yesterday I was around so many people that loved them so much. I think I ordered oh, probably like 15 shirts for people. And speaking of shirts, you guys know how much I love my sweatshirts. If and this is a big if. If I were to do Tyler Ramey merchandise, which sounds ridiculous to even say that, but so many people have sent me a message about that and commented that they want like a coffee mug or a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. So I think a, t a, a, a sweatshirt sums me up. A crew neck sweatshirt could not be more Tyler Ramey. So would you all want Tyler Ramey sweatshirts that said, hello, 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 y'all? What do you think? Because I could probably get them. I could get this style. And this is like the softest, most nice quality. It's not cheap. Um, sweatshirt for probably, I don't even know, 20 bucks. Something like that. Just think about it, honey. Just think about it. The trees are beautiful. They're just beautiful. I can't wait to go to brunch. I am starving. I have not had any coffee yet, surprisingly. I don't know what. I think it's just the fall vibe has gotten me so peppy and fall-like. But um, I haven't had any coffee yet. So that's that's going to be first thing on the agenda. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that. And I, I can't remember if I told you or not. But I, let's see, it's Thursday. On Monday, I had to go get a crown at the dentist. 
It was a terrible experience. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that it was a horrible, awful, terrible experience. Now, I knew that it was gonna be uncomfortable and not enjoyable, we'll say. I had no idea that it was gonna be absolutely terrible. I was there for, and this is nothing against my dentist. This is nothing against my dentist office. They were all precious, sweet angels. But I had to get a crown on the very back tooth on the right, and they had to do my impression seven times seven times they had to do my impression because it kept messing up and so i was there for four hours i had to get subs for my classes my mouth was hurting so bad that day it was so sore even with my like high potent ibuprofen that he gave me i did class that night at 4 30 and every single jump that i took every single jump that i did and landed oh my gosh y'all it felt like needles were driving into my gums i mean it was terrible it was a nightmare so, anybody out there that has teeth stuff going on, whether it be crowns, root canals, bridges, implants, I feel for you. Like our Tracy B, she has had her fair share of dental woes in her life. So, I have a newfound respect for people with dental things. And can we just talk about how expensive it is? Honey, that crown cost me, out of pocket, $1,000. $1,000. So, right now, I've got my temporary in. And on November 11th, I go back and they're going to put the real one. And I was like, honey, what is it going to be made out of? Pure gold from a pirate ship? Did you take an expedition to the bottom of the sea, to the Titanic, to get some kind of precious metal that fills that tooth for $1,000? I said, honey, just pop a piece of Indian corn back there and let's call it a day. But anyway, dental health is very important, so I just did whatever they said. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. I had my crown this week. Um, today also, I have to go to the Dollar Tree, but I'm going to another little house today to put a sign in the yard that says, please buy me from Tyler Ramey. And I'm super excited about that. And that's about it. That is about it. I will say that here lately, and I'm getting better about it, I have been very stressed because for <clears throat> 12 years, I've had a consistent full-time job that paid me every two weeks. This is what you get paid. This is what you get paid. So it has been quite the transition to go from a full-time benefited position to I'm, I'm part-time at the Y. Part-time teaching classes. I'm there 12 hours a week. That's it. And depending 100%, real estate is 100% here at least, it's 100% commission-based. So if I don't sell any houses, I don't get paid. I get nothing, nothing. And so it's been a very stressful time. You may have noticed that I have not done videos regularly. I'm getting better. I'm getting back my taller sense um, and I'm calming down a little bit. But it's been very stressful because to go from that, you know, it's just you, you are your own worst enemy sometimes for sure. And it's so easy to get in your own head about things and talk yourself into the worst case scenario. I mean, I have talked myself into the fact that real estate's going to crash and burn and I'm going to have to move in with mom. And I mean, just crazy. Your brain will make, will make you think crazy things. But anywho, and also this is so random. Sorry about that. Emily was calling me to say, where are you? I'm here. And I said, I'm five minutes away. So anywho, um, I was in food city last night. And the only reason I was there was to get sugar-free candy and creamer, pumpkin spice, sugar-free creamer. Enough said about that. And this lady, and forgive me because I didn't know her name, so let me tell you what happens in my life. What happens in my life is people say hi to me and they, they know me, I don't know them because they may have come to my class at the YMCA six years ago one time and I don't remember them and they remember me. Or I remember them, I just don't remember their name. So this lady was like, hi. I was on the phone, I was completely distracted. And I thought, oh, this is just somebody from the Y. I don't remember their name. She looked precious and I was like, hello, how are you? And she was like, I know you don't know me. I'm from YouTube, I'm one of your YouTube fans. Stop it. So if you're watching this video, comment below. She lives locally and I told her, we were talking about the Dollar Tree, we were talking about everything. And I told her, I was like, we will do a Dollar Tree video together. So if you are watching this video, first of all, remind me of your name, Precious Angel. 
and comment below and let me know. I loved running into you. That was hilarious. Um, and also, Brandon Jones, if you're watching this, Brandon Jones is a secret fan. Hi, Brandon. Brandon is Emily's husband. And Emily sent me a video the other night of him watching my video. So, hi, darling. I'm getting ready to go eat brunch with your wife. I'm obsessed with her, as you know. And if you're not careful, I'm just going to snatch her right up from you. Okay, I've yacked enough for now. I'm going to go. I will check in with you when we get to the brunch place, and then I'll take you along for the rest of the day. You're still here. I don't remember what this is. Some kind of, Emily is preparing her look right now so she can be seen on camera because her food just arrived. This is a super food bowl. I'm super excited. That lady was pulling. This is my It's got chia, chia seed pudding, bananas. It's like Sister's Cravings. Have you had that place? And there's our blueberry pancake that we're splitting. Emily got something totally healthy. It's like an egg white omelet with onions and I don't know. Look at this. Look at this. She's just, what did I call you earlier? A vision. She's just a vision. Get off me now. Look at that. Okay, she's done with it. <clears throat> We're back. So I decided to come to, wasn't Emily Precious? I just can't with her. I can't. Um, we came to Bargain Hunt, which used to be uh, one of my favorite places. And then it kind of became hit or miss. And then I'm never in Johnson City. So I never get over this way. But they do have some pretty uh, cheap stuff. So I got three things. I got a gray puffy vest. It's by Jackson Hole Outerwear. And it was listed at $25 and it was down to seven. So you all know I'm going back to the NYC in December. So I thought this would be something lightweight I could throw in there and I love me a good puffy vest. And it's big enough to where I can wear it over thin shirts or over sweatshirts. So honey, a sweatshirt and a vest, I'm, I'm ready. And then I got kind of the same idea. It's a, it's a, it's a lighter shade of gray and it's a full zip puffy jacket with a hood. And it was listed at 80 and it was down to 15. So I got this jacket for 15 and it will fold up very, very small. And I got the vest. Um, and then this is a total impulse buy, but I was about to check out and I found a huge, and the reason I say impulse, but not really, because I've had this brand and it's very good. It's one of my favorite K-Cup brands that I've gotten. I got it on a whim one time at Ollie's and it just has such a good flavor. The decaf even, because honey, sometimes at night, mama likes to have decaf coffee. And so I got the Victor Allen's brand in decaf, but I could not pass up the seasonal favorites, the K-Cups. So you get 36 and nine of them are peppermint bark coffee, nine are gingerbread cookie coffee, and then you get nine candy cane hot cocoa and nine chocolate covered cherry hot cocoa. So at night, I've been trying to do sugar-free candy or I've just been trying to get out of the habit of having a big, huge dessert at night. And so even though this does have sugar, they have four grams of sugar for the hot cocos. That can be like my little special treat because they are 60 calories for the candy cane and 70 calories for the chocolate covered cherry. But that sounded so delicious to me to have as a little treat at night. Okay. Um, it's so bright in here that I keep having to make sure that we're filming. We are. So yeah, I'm excited about the coffee purchases. I'm super excited about the jacket purchases um, because those will come in so handy in New York. And yeah, so I'm on my way now to go list that house and put the sign in the yard, honey, that says, if you're interested in this house, you better call your boy Tyler Ramey with Premier Homes and Properties. And then I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and then Jenny Irvin and I are gonna walk and then I'm gonna go to the Y and then I'm gonna go to the surprise party. So it's all gonna, be a very uh, fun and eventful day and I'll try to bring you along. So stay tuned and uh, we will probably be back when it is Dollar Tree time. I'll show you the house I'm listening to. Goodbye. Y'all, I'm at the Dollar Tree and I'm literally obsessed with these. You put a little tea like hand one there. Hi, honey. <laughs> I'm showing YouTube these little Christmas houses here. Is there anything you don't want on there? Um, I wanted to show you before I put it all in her bag. So this is for the surprise birthday girl. I got her YouTube. I got her a $10 Chick-fil-A gift card. 
This is from the Dollar Tree. It's Dove Milk Chocolate and Peanut Butter. I got her some white Kit Kats. She's gonna be so happy that she made it. And some of her she kisses. Um, I got her a New York City, because we love New York City, obviously. Um, champagne Toast Three Week Candle from Bath and Body Works. I got her um, a little pair of unicorn socks to go with her unicorn bag from the Dollar Tree. Some stuff to put in the bag. And then I also got her a vanilla sugar and raspberry paper mm -hmm. facial mask. Anything you'd like to tell them? For those of you who aren't gift givers, we're all different. That's okay. Love I'm languages going, are different. I'm going to get her a gift card because I love to get gift cards for money. Yeah. And I'm just gonna get her a gift card. It's so a good don't gift. feel insecure if you're not a good gift giver. That's right. I'm not. And the only reason that I did all this stuff is because I'm unemployed and I have all day long every day to shop. You're unemployed. Now. Well, I'm basically unemployed. I'm partially employed. So, oh, and here's her uh, card from the Dollar Tree. Bye. Goodbye. Um, we're at Cumberland Marketing, by the way, which is where they work. Hope a perfectly That's wonderful perfect. friend has a perfectly happy birthday. Wow. And I got this for myself from the Dollar Tree. Do I need it? No, I don't even have any hair, but it's Herbal Essences um, conditioner for a dollar. Steph loves the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to end the video. I love you, I mean it. Do all the things that I usually tell you. Goodbye.